guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about just the state of the franchise, honestly, about the Dallas Cowboys. I, I don't really want to get into that whole playoff talks. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. And that's really honestly where Dallas Cowboy fans are right now. We don't know what this team can actually do. Can it win the playoffs? And that's the reason why we'll get into all that dive next week. And, you know, when there is something to talk about, when we do have some seating, we know where we're going and we know where other teams are going too because we're going to have to keep an eye on those matchups because easily Dallas could move up even if nothing happens this weekend. But if, if Dallas ends up winning and, and Tampa loses and the Rams lose, we lose it and move up into that second seed, it's right back to a Dallas versus Philadelphia matchups. And I, I don't think really people want to watch those matchups. We want to see, you know, Dallas versus Tampa or the Rams. We want to see Philadelphia versus Arizona. You know, obviously, yeah, that's not going to happen because they're all lower seeds. But, you know, we want to see them match up against the Rams or, or possibly the Buccaneers. I, I want to see those matchups. You know, uh, NFC East, there was no competition there, so why would I want to see another matchup in that sense? The offense overall, we all know what the offense overall is. It's not looking good right now. We don't know what team is going to show up offensively, and if they do show up one week, they may not show up the next week, and that next week, Tyron Smith might not be in the lineup. So there's some things that are, are consistent, and his inconsistency in that lineup is the consistency. Wow. But anyways, this offensive line needs to get their butt in gear. This offensive plays that, that we get going, and then all of a sudden they're drawn back because of a penalty, and the offensive line is just is not doing their job, not giving the time, not pushing to get the running game going, it all matters to them. They are getting paid the big money. So to, to pick on them and say they're not doing their job, and this is the reason why, of course, they get a part of the blame. You also got to get a part of the blame to Dak Prescott, not getting the ball out, not making good decisions. When, guess what? You need to know where you're going to, with the ball. And even if they got disguises, you need to have something there. And again, the play calling and not giving Dak those options more than just two routes in a play where all of a sudden the whole defense can cover it up and now Dak is kind of just having to scramble it around and find something that 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 doesn't go that's not going to sit right in the playoffs so these wide receivers they know what they need to do they started stepping up the tight ends are going to be a big thing and in Blake Jarwin coming back that's going to be huge but of course you only get Schultz for a little bit of time now so you need to utilize him so offensively lots of problems can they all be fixed I think so but can they all be fixed together? That's going to be the problem because there are too many problems, I think, within this offense to fix them all together and have it all patched up to be able to push for four to five games. That's going to be hard. I think you're asking a lot within this offense. So you need to be able to rely on the defense, and that's the next category. When you look at this defense overall, you have to look at it from a year ago, where was it? It was being dragged through the mud by Mike Nolan where nobody was in position, nobody was making tackles, and nobody understood what the heck they were supposed to do within his defense. You fast forward and you get Dan Quinn, a savior, a guy that brings a different type of culture, a different type of swagger to this defense. And, and look, everybody's making plays. So you don't know who is actually a good player because he makes everybody good. He understands what the weaknesses and, and the power of, of every team. And that's what's... The other teams are taking advantage of at times when we they do score is that you know you're gonna get taken advantage of of your weaknesses and but dan quinn's been very good about hiding it and you gotta understand he brought a lot of rookies in uh, you know when you would see a play you would see micah parson all of a sudden wreaking havoc the running back would have to change directions right into other rookies like osa diggy zua golston when he finally came back jabril cox before he got hurt so there's a lot of pieces within this defense that's being built and the next year is just going to get better because it's going to be able to implement more pieces that he's finding and he's putting in there and people once you see a defense start to play and get interceptions you want to be a part of that culture so you're going to see a lot more people want to sign with dallas's defense because of what dan quinn is bringing you they, they want to be a part of what he's cooking up in that recipe so I get excited about what the defense can do because when they do get pressure, it's amazing to watch this. So this team definitely has a heck of a camaraderie. It, it, it's battling with the offense, and, and I love that competition between them because that's an amazing thing to want, to, to get want to get turnovers to beat the offense and to want to get touchdowns to beat that defense, but but you want to help each other too, and, and you're, you're battling for the same thing. And I, I love the, from both sides. So this team is a very good in the sense of what, each one will do for each other they'll lay out you know the you know 
they'll get that extra block they'll push it you know they'll put their body on the line for the other guy and so you see that within the locker room so you love the camaraderie within there but they got to put it down on paper you got to execute your plays you got to not get penalties you not be stupid when it comes to that and that's what's going to build that championship team and that's what Dallas Cowboys fans are worried about is when this Dallas Cowboy team kind of loses its focus and kind of just maybe gets up on itself or or just gets too caught up in what the referees are doing instead of playing your own game and just executing. Honestly, there's so many times where you see this offense just go three and out, this defense or, or let a big drive all of a sudden happen. It, so they just need to kind of buckle up, get ready for the playoffs, and yes, not worry about this upcoming game. And, and I know... We still want to beat Philadelphia. I do too. So, I, But I want to see Cooper Rush do it. I want to see th these backups do it as well. So let's see our backups beat up their backups and then get ready for this playoffs push. So like always, I'm Primetime Phil. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, but don't forget to always ring that bell.